Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? Pretty good here. So we're just heading into the club here. We got uh, some work to do on that big chipper that we haven't really looked at too much here yet. We're gonna look it over today. And I've already gone ahead and taken the blades off it. And uh, they were pretty dull to my standards. Anyways, they were pretty dull. So we got the blades sharpened. I sharpened them on my, uh, <clears throat> my on my mower blade sharpener. I <laughs> had to think about that. My Oregon mower blade sharpener. And actually, did that ever work really good? So those should be good. Now they are a double-sided, I'll show you them in a sec here. They are a double-sided flip over blade. And um, I could have just flipped them over, but you know, then you're leaving the other side dull for someone that, you know, next time might flip it over and you know, they wouldn't have a sharp edge. So um, figured I might as well take them off, clean it up a little bit and uh, we'll uh, put them back on, give her a little run maybe. I don't have any branches to, for say, to put through it, but um, Maybe uh, maybe we'll take it out somewhere here and uh, see if we can get a couple of branches to fire through it. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. It's going to be getting dark here soon too, so I'm going to be fighting that too. <laughs> but anywho, uh, there we go. Get the door open here because I got to, well, you know what? I actually might not need to pull the... 4x4 four four out of here. I got stuff kind of reorganized here the other night, and I think we're going to be all right. We might not get her out today, though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But um, we will need to put this shoot down. This, Of course, this thing here is going to be in the way a little bit. Maybe not now. <sighs> that thing is such in the way here. I imagine they probably spend a lot of money on that for drilling holes, you know, but definitely could probably go. Uh, so what is splitter back there? It's not going to go there. Could go somewhere else, <laughs> which would be nice. But anyways, um, okay. Well, let's get you mounted on the head here. I just got my GoPro head mount right now here with me and uh, we'll start working away. All right, so. This guy's kind of cool. You gotta flip this guy around here. I don't know if you can see this or not. Flip this, take a little pin out. Flip this guy over here. And this thing just kind of goes down. But there is, uh, I think, some bolts here that you're supposed to put in. Yeah. Oh, there's still some wood in this thing, too. There are some bolts you're supposed to put down into some little U channely things there. That's good for now though. Um, okay, we got a bolt here we gotta take out. That holds the whole housing. And then we got a couple of bolts here I think that, do we need to take, yeah we need to take these out too I think. I think we do, yeah. No we don't. I loosen them off. I had them out the other night there, but I don't think we need to take that off. Let's see here. Yeah, that'll just flip up for us now. So this thing goes right to the ground, gives you a little handle here. And that lets you get into all your blades. And the little pusher guy and stuff. And I guess it doesn't let the stuff get through these little things here and it chops it up even more. But this is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty, pretty swanky, pretty beefy. But I did bring some other tools here. Should've brought my light too. It's gonna be a bit dark maybe. I brought some other tools just to, hmm, I don't have a light. Okay, that's fine. Just to make sure everything's free and clear. That's pretty good really, but oh wow, what's that hitting on? Compression 
the stroke of the engine is just direct drive this thing. It doesn't have a clutch on it. So I'm not too sure if that's such a good thing, but that's, that's the way they work. We'll have to give stuff a bit of grease here too. There's a couple of big giant fittings on here. Big nice twin Honda too. I'll have to get that fired up. We were actually supposed to have a, a forestry work party today, but it was canceled because uh, a couple of days ago we were supposed to get a whole crap ton of snow, which we actually never really, really got. So that ended that party anyways. That's what they call them as a party, work party. All right, so these are our nice freshly sharpened blades. And these are our two-sided blade. But you'll be able to see there's this is still a sharp side but this is the one i sharpened here and they're just like razor sharp like i mean you can probably hear my going over it holy smokes wicked sharp now these on right too. I think they go like that. Yeah, so it chops and goes through. Because you could put them on. Uh, you can't screw it up, I guess. Oh, yes, you could. You could put it on this way. Yeah, you can screw that up. So you got to make sure you get them on the right way here. And I took these off with an impact. They have a pretty good impact here, so. Wow, let's see how sharp these actually are. Let's just see. I get a good spot of this little towel here and don't cut myself. Wow, <laughs> those are sharp. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. I know they got some hidden tools in here somewhere. Pins for the tractor, that's good. I don't like that one. Great bottle one. Nope. There we go. Three quarters. Yeah. Nice gun too, master scrap. Should have just brought my electric, but it probably would have stripped the holes. Things just brutal. Uh, okay, how much do we air do we got here? We're charged up pretty good. maybe.
probably 150 it would shut off, but we're like 145 now, that should be more than enough. We're not uh, blowing up balloons or nothing here, so. <laughs> Good, that one's good. We'll get rid of these. And these little sticks. Yeah, we had it actually. Dylan and I just took it out the other night there just for a little boot. They don't have a trailer hitch though, so I got to use my uh, my trailer hitch in the back of that thing. Um, someone hooked the plow up too, and I tried that the other day, and me, me, <laughs> it wasn't crazy on it really, to be honest. All right, the rest of this we can probably put together with our tools. And I need two of them here. I could probably use the impact too, but, because I did take these ones off and I guess I didn't have to. Uh, but we can get um, a half inch three quarter here. And the three eighths, three quarter there. And then we need to, Let's grease this thing before we get it, uh, that guy up there, because it'd be easier to get that back one, I think. Not a very good grease gun. I'm presuming there's taking grease there see it coming out but still grease in the gun <laughs> I like to kind of see it squirting out a little bit some might say you're you're wasting the grease you're wasting the grease well you'd be better to waste it than put new parts into it right should be good for this guy now. I don't think we need this guy. I really got a few tools here, but I think I got a scraper too. I guess I could use that. I just like bringing my own because I get all the way out here and then, oh, I don't have that tool here. And then I gotta go get tools anyways, so. Okay, let's get these guys and get these guys tightened up here maybe. Make sure we're both going the right way. That should be good. We still need this guy. Well, I think that's all I can do in there. Almost down there out of the way. Don't want anything falling in there. Make sure we got all the blades on right. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. She should go. All right, I guess we'll lift this guy back up. I think we're ready to go back on there. Heavy enough on its own too, that thing. This has got kind of a cool chute on it. It's got a spring-loaded thing on it. I'll show you that in a second here. So it's got a big spring up here, so you take this, take this off of here, and then she just shoots straight out. I don't know if you want her not to shoot quite so far, you just grab a spot there, or if you want her down a little more, yeah, right down. Right into your pocket if you wanted it to. Okay, transportation, we should, I'll probably put this guy back up. There's clips on her leg. Let me pull this cord in here, this hose. Turn that guy off. All right. 
check the engine here. It's probably got some gas in it. It's kind of a weird spot for the gas, but darn it, I should have kept that towel. Now I know why. One of the towel. We can check the hoil. The hoil. Oh, it's like brandy nice new looking. Someone must have served this up not too long ago. I think I heard something about that at one of the meetings we were at. Yeah, it's up good. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's check the filter of air. It's not even terrible bad looking. Yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about that, I don't think. I think someone just did service this thing, but they didn't sharpen blades. Which is kind of weird. It's got some oil in it too, so that's good. I think some of you guys will get a kick out of this. Nice 22, 24 horse. What is it? 20. GX690 is probably about a 24 or 5 horse. Uh, someone did some work, I guess, onto this. And they recorded it for me, which is great. Right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. 84 hours. How do they know that, I wonder? Does it actually have an hour meter on it somewhere here? There's a battery down there. Is the battery any good? Seems like it's going to turn over. So new oil at 84 hours, new oil filter, new spark plugs. Shouldn't have needed that already. Holy jeez. New air pre-filter. 97.3 hours removed and cleaned carburetor, really. Fuel filter, new fuel line, plugs, oil filter, grease, grease Briggs, B-R-G-S. I don't know. It's got to be an hour meter somewhere. How are they knowing how many hours are on this thing? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyways, I think that's all we really need to do with it. This one out. I'm not going to record anything in the book, I don't think. Hmm. Because it didn't, I didn't really do anything to it. I just greased it up. Sharpened the blades. It <laughs> didn't really need an oil change or nothing. So, um, should we take it out for a boot? Well, I guess we could. Now, like, the gas is under here, which is, it's kind of weird. So I'm showing it's almost empty, but it should be enough just for us to run it. Probably should run it and get some of that crappy gas out of it, because I'm sure it's old gas, too. Uh, let's just put these back in my truck. And we've got a bit of light, I guess. It's cold out, though. Welcome to Canada, eh? My tools. Lock that up. Oh, crap. Got to get my hitch. All right, let's get the door open here. As high as it'll go. I put my coat on. Frickin' cold, man. And uh, we're gonna have to move out zero turn two, I think. And why did this thing all fall apart on me here? Really? What is going on here? Why all of a sudden are these pins too short? Oh. Well, that's real handy. Huh. The thing's broken on the end of these things. Holy jumping. I wonder how the heck that happened. That's kind of weird. Well, that's not good. I have to find myself some new pins, I guess. Huh. Hopefully those will stay in there. Um, okay. 
Let's get this thing out here. We gotta get this thing unplugged though because they think they have a problem with this draining the battery. I'm like, well, yeah, because it hardly ever gets used. And the battery's draining out because there's probably some kind of computer system-y thing in there. It'll do that to anything, right? So, okay. Got a little plow on this guy we gotta lift up. Oh. Yeah. with the uh, battery drain on that because nobody really uses it too much you don't really use it a whole lot right so of course it's going to drain the battery out see if the caboter will start here now I had it going just the other night so see if we can get this chipper turned a little bit here well oh, it's not too bad really oh that's interesting those pins I don't know what happened to them but I gotta have to figure out something there they had little nibs on the end I guess in the Maybe it got dropped or rolling around in the back of the truck. Rolling around in the back of the truck or something, it might have just, uh, I don't know. hitch pins don't come out will be good I might have to drill through them things and just put uh, you know this little hairpin clip things through it or something all right we'll move this ahead low range I guess See if I can the zero turn in so it's not sitting out there. I have to put it back further, but it's pretty nice more, but it's a pretty heavy big motor this thing. Do donkey. We should be able to get this chipper jam back in here. Here's hoping. It's kind of tight here though. But pull this down too. I know where there's a couple of stuff we can maybe grab to 
We're not gonna do a bunch of it. We're just gonna fire some through, make sure it's working all right. Shut off the money. Okay. Well, let's, I'm not gonna hook these, so I didn't bring a tool to do that, but that should be all right for what we're doing here. That'll just sit down there nice, I'm sure. All right, so we got a choke. Not fuel injected. Got a little bit of a throttle here. We'll pull the choke out. Disposition. It's gonna go on the grass here, but we're not gonna be doing that much. Shoot her up higher, maybe. That kind of warm up a little bit. branch or two and we'll uh, fire it through here I think this was some of the stuff here we ooh, big stuff maybe that'll make her work a bit I didn't bring a saw so we'll see if it'll send this through or not Too, too much, but all the weird stuff here is not going to go through. You got to cut that. Take her. 
Wow, it's actually coming back. No way. Holy smokes, eh? <laughs> that almost idles down too low. Still got a big chunk of this one in here. Wow, look at that, eh? Holy. We'll put her back for now. Geez, that's not too bad. That's a lot of weight there, though, to, for that motor to turn over, wasn't it? Wow, we. Nice. Pretty happy with that. Our things haven't come out. Nope, I'm gonna have to figure that out because I need a pin in those things, that's for sure. Hmm. All right. Pretty happy with that, I guess. That'll chip up some stuff pretty good there. Wasn't much left of it. <laughs> Gone. Not too bad. I guess I gotta get out and fix some more roads here soon too. Get some big potholes again. I had this all nice last year and it's all back to crap again. Big potholes. Do much about it, but kind of a chintzy plow on this thing, really. good there really I'm surprised oh I'll bet you that door locked on me ah. you can't just gently oh sorry guys that was you wasn't it I you can't just gently put the uh, door down here and they lock so just good I guess no we used it really high all right we can probably just get this shove back in and then uh probably just do her manually oh better go with the other reverse Get around there. Yep. 
on this guy. I guess I'll take my hitch out here. See right there is, and you guys questioned me when I got my new truck there, why did you get the, the two inch receiver? Well, <laughs> right, right on there. So yeah, these things broke off. There's other little nubs there that these things came around and clipped into. Huh, interesting. Oh. Come on. I'm gonna put this in here so I remember about it. It's not that dirty. Okay. Well, this should probably, uh, I'm gonna try just to back this guy in, I think. Oh, that might be it there, bud. Winch down. Shut that off now. I better hook this back in because I don't know when we're going to be here using it next. And... I don't know if she's going to reach. Something's telling me she might not reach. Because we've got to go way over here. made her be a lot easier for someone to get it out next time that's for sure all right sweet well room for something else to park here boy we really need to do some door seals though don't we holy smokes that's really bad over here most could get in there probably because they were frozen down and someone ripped them off Imagine That was lovely. Freaking dirt. You might have to. These might slide out. Oh yeah, they slide out there. Okay. Literally double channel or something. Yeah. Probably just get some of them and put them in. Oh yeah, they just slide on like a little channel here. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Home Depot. Uh, press door bottom seal. Different looking stuff. Mm. Now I would imagine that this stuff is probably. How is that stuff held into there? I don't know if you'd have to change that or not. Hmm. So they have this stuff. they have this stuff which it could be this stuff and just slide it in again it's a pretty rough shape isn't it I think this stuff kind of just slides you know kind of through that sort of thing you know what I mean no I messed it up <laughs> Well, it's mostly there. I don't know if it's this stuff or not, though. Kind of 
of looks like it's different. It's got a real T shape to it. Oh boy, I don't know. It might not fit that stuff nicely. Hmm. I don't even know if there's a name on this door. Who installed it originally? Thermocraft Steel Craft Door Products. They're probably not even in business anymore. Kind of looks like one of these might work. Kind of looks like the same sort of stuff. Definitely had better days, but anyways. I would kind of assume that would be kind of all the same stuff. Definitely gonna be hard to keep some heat in if that's leaking. It's different, that's side door seal, like on the outside on the wall stuff. Universal vinyl garage door bottom replacement weather stripping. That kind of looks like the same crap that's on here now. Like that same little ripple pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's more than six on there. But it's probably pretty close. Should definitely have something there though. Oop, and I would say that's probably the stuff. Does this door show me anything any better? Or is it, it's probably just as wore out. Ooh, this door's getting good there either way this is even worse jeez bud jeez bud you might have trouble getting this one out of here you have to tear it all out oh boy i don't know they probably just get a garage door guy in the heck did that just hit hmm. yeah and that stuff is uh 40 bucks and it's good for 18 feet I don't know how wide these doors are they may be 10 There's five with that little mark Ten foot doors. Ten foot doors. So we need 20 foot of that stuff. And that, of course, only comes in 18. Wow. Are you kidding me? So you'd have to get two of these. And then you'd have like... You'd have like, what, six feet left over. Really? You couldn't make that a 20... Wow, what a scam that is, eh? 18 foot roll and I need two... Two of them. Wow. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. I guess you'd have to get two of them anyways. Holy smokes. And they're 40 bucks a piece. I think that stuff would do it though. But anyways, you'd have to get approval on that stuff. So I guess that's it for today. It looks like everything's back. Uh, got my keys, we're good. Maybe we didn't touch anything on that thing, but wow, there's a big hole there. Big one over here, just letting the air rush in. Should probably put something there, but oh well. <laughs> I think this door's a little better, but this one's really bad. It really needs to have it done. Guess I could get one of them and do one of them maybe for them, but anyways, for now, I guess that's it for that. That thing seemed to run not too, too bad. So it's the chipper we've looked at now. We've not done anything with this yet, as in oil changes or anything. We've done this one, and this one, I think had the oil not done too long ago, but there's a kit in that brown bag over there for this thing when it needs done, so. But uh, chainsaws are all done. Good, good, almost ready to work. So that's it for today, I guess. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I do have a video coming up soon. They wanted me to go and uh, down at the ponds, they have uh, that little building there where the little tractor sits for them to cut grass down there. They've got just two little crappy, shitty push mowers that are pretty, pretty beat. So they wanted me to go get a couple more of them. So I went and actually got them tonight. I'm not gonna show you them now, but went and got them tonight and uh, 
we uh, need to we need to go and uh, get them ready to go. Brand new in the box, two of them. So we'll be doing that probably not quite right away because they're not going to be cutting grass here for a wee while. And uh, I never, don't really want to get gas in them and stuff, and then they sit down there for like two months, right? So we'll uh, we'll work on them soon, though. But uh, I'm going to have to come out and get these ones out of the sh their shed here and see if I can resurrect them at all. Or I know they they beat them up pretty hard. They're pretty hard on equipment here, so. But uh, anywho, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that today. A little chipper action for you. Pretty awesome. And you guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching.